Hey, everybody. We're live at the Pace Studios right now in New York with Honey West. Honey West, thank you for being here. We appreciate it very much. Thank you. <clears throat> Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, congratulations to you guys because Bad Old World has just been remastered, reissued on beautiful 180-gram vinyl. Um, you, the Internet, can see it right there in the middle of your screen at the bottom. There it is in all its glory, and we're going to hear four songs from it today. Can you tell us what's coming up first? Right. Well, we're going to start with the title. <coughs> It's called Battle Well. One, two, three, four. Battle Well, try and take my baby. Battle Well, wanna get my girl. There's no doubt about it, no, no, maybe Bad old world, wanna get my girl Bad old world, try and take my baby Bad old world, wanna get my girl There's no doubt about it, no, no, maybe Bad old world, try and take my girl Life from heaven shining down on me To live or die so long as we stay free No compassion anywhere Far as I can see Light from heaven shining down on me That old world won't get me This thing called love Brave new world where we sleep hand in glove Is it all we need this thing called love Is it all we need this thing called love If you're looking for some final answer To take you across this space of grass singer and the dancer they will tell you what they think they Get my baby Battle world Wanna get my girl There's no doubt about it No, no, maybe Battle world Wanna get my girl Life from heaven Shining down on me To live or die As long as we stay free Passion anywhere, far as I can see. Light from heaven shining down on me. If you're looking for some final answer, to take you across this space of ground, go and ask the singer and the dancer. They will tell you what they think they find. Come with me into the world called love. Come with me into the world called love. Come with me into the world called love. Come with me. fun man thank you guys for coming and doing this we appreciate it having fun thank you yeah um so ian you produced this record yourself can we talk a little bit about the decision to to turn all the knobs and to to wear all the hats yourself as opposed to bringing in outside outside producer on the record 
Well, we, I don't, I don't do the, 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 the twiddling of the knob. <coughs> I um I, I I need a very good engineer to to have to you know have an, another p a pair of ears as as Tim Hatfield and to do that I know and uh, and so uh, our friend uh, and great engineer Tim Hatfield um, was the engineer on on the sessions and he uh, and he's an associate producer as well but basically I I did um, I I was the producer. <laughs> As I, I tend to, I tend to get involved on that level when I, when I, when I, um, with my, most things that I do. So it was, it was always going to be that way. Was there ever any conversation about potentially bringing in somebody else to um, produce, or was I it always going to be you? I don't think so. I don't think so. No, I, um, I don't recall. It that. sure wasn't going to be me that was going to produce. It. <laughs> no, well, <coughs> I just, I don't think. We, no, I mean, I think, I, um, I just sort of. Slid into the into the produ producer's uh, chair and s stayed there. <laughs> but uh, well, good. I'm glad that it worked out that way. I think it sounds outstanding. Hopefully, everyone who's tuned in right now, we've got a good uh, good crowd on the internet right now. Hopefully, everyone who who is tuned in is able to check out Bad Old World, uh, especially well specifically in the 180 gram vinyl uh, format in which it is now available. It's now out in the world on Readout and Orchard and there it is right in front of you in the middle yeah. of your screen. And uh, it's sounding really good if I do say so myself. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Really good. Um, so we're going to hear uh, four songs from it today. Can you tell us what's coming up second? Oh, uh, This one's called She's Not Your Life and uh, I wrote this one. Me and Ian do a lot of co-writes. Um, and it's just about somebody that leaves you. That's all there is to it. And hopefully people will cry out there when they hear us. Oh, there we are. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> when your heart is not your own anymore you find that love has gone away without you She used to laugh and dance across your floor Now that girl just laughs at everything about you Maybe someday she'll be somebody's wife She's not your life Now you got some time to spend Find some other girl Don't cry because she was your friend Just blame the world She won't pass this way again That's a million nights ago All you wanted was an end to loneliness And so What if she still cuts you like a knife She's not your life She's not your life You mustn't look for love anymore She's not your life But once a lifetime someone passes through the door So keep your head about you Watch everybody else lose theirs let the lovers flout you When they pass you by in pairs And don't ever think about her eyes They'll tear your soul apart The girls must learn not to cry She can't have your heart Show her you're the one that will survive She's not your life She's not your life you mustn't look for love anymore She's not your life But once a lifetime someone passes through the door So when your heart is not your own anymore You find that love has gone away without you to laugh and dance across the floor Now that girl just laughs at everything about you 
maybe someday she'll be somebody's wife She's not your life Yeah, thank you. So we, um, w- one of the things we like to talk about uh, during these sessions is uh, is musical influences, and this is an easy room to talk about it, considering that we're in front of rock and roll history, music history, going back to the back to the mid fifties. Um, but it feels like a strange question to ask about influences because it's not every day that we have a co-founder of. <laughs> King Crimson, co- awesome. co-founder of Foreigner in the studio. So um, this is like a choose-your-own-adventure question. Do you want to talk talk about some of your musical influences or talk about some of the current contemporary artists who've been influenced by you, who you're really enjoying? Well, that's, a, that's kind of a huge question, but yeah. I'm yeah. <laughs> influenced by a lot of things. I always was, you know, made, uh, you know as, a, as a kid, I used to... Um, I used to love uh, the Les Paul and Mary Ford records, you know, and uh, and but also cl- uh, classical music that I heard in in the house, things like uh, Scheherazade, like Rimsky Korsakov, and things like that. And then, so <clears throat> that sort of, uh, op- you know, op- opened me up to to various uh, styles of music. And of course, when rock and roll itself came along, you know, Chuck Berry and and uh, and everyone else, I was. Uh, enamored with that and then that um, that of course led all the way up to you know led up to the Beatles of course and uh, and so um, I just I uh, I don't know I just love uh, smart smart uh, uh, music you know well 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 written well played and uh, intelligent music and uh, uh, hopefully a little bit (laughs) rubbed off I don't know Uh, but uh, um, that's that's you know I mean I could go on about that sort of thing but um, uh, well you're in good company I mean, you're sitting right in front of a John Lennon tape right, right there and then there's also there's a Les Paul tape over in the corner oh. which I think it was his 60th or his 70th birthday maybe it was it's Les Paul and uh, and friends um, oh. I think Eddie Van Halen's on that tape I think BB King like there's just a ton of guitar players oh right yeah, the, think, uh, just a massive lineup we could which I think, we'll my, f- I think my friend John Paris is on that as well I could, he could yeah. well be. That sounds right. But, um, I actually met uh, Les Paul one time at the, in the, at the backstage at the Iridium, so that was a, that was a you know a thrill there to meet to actually meet him. So and, what uh, about uh, contemporary artists? I mean, who are, who are you listening to that uh, that fits that criteria that you were saying earlier? The well, uh, smartly smartly ris- list well, written music. This is not exactly contemporary, but I I'm a. I'm a huge uh, Steely Dan fan, and I try to listen to them. Every, listen to a Steely Dan album every day. It just it uh, p- puts me in a good mood, and I, I just could, I I can never get enough of it. You know, it's just it's so, so beautifully crafted and written, and uh, and witty, and uh, you know everything I could ask for in uh, in sort of popular popular music. You know, nice and. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Maybe Ted. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> maybe Ted. Uh, I, I've, been, I've been getting a big kick out maybe. of Billie Eilish. Um, although, you know, I don't did you know. see what she did on Saturday Night Live yes, it did. with the rotating yeah, thing? Yeah, that yeah, was the coolest the thing. Little Fred Astaire trick. Yeah, yeah, that worked out well. And I really dug the ballad at the at the end. Um, that was really sweet. Uh, Wilco just put a new record uh-huh. out. I've been listening to that. You know. Yeah. Um, I've always loved country music. Uh, I grew up well listening to King Crimson, of course, but it was it, everything was British in my collection. When I was in college, I, the only American I had on the wall was Bob Dylan. It was just Beatles, Stones, Kinks, Who, Mott the Hoople, you know, and that's just what it is. But this this last song you just heard when when Ian produced it, uh, you know, we really went for a 10 CC kind of thing, and. Mm-hmm. Um, I know. When I was living in Paris once for a while, somebody put on the 10cc album that you know I'm not in love is on. What's it called? Night at the Opera? Is that Queen? I don't know. That's Queen. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, that one. And uh, there you are. Uh, I've been listening to Hall and Oates again lately. They were uh, on TV. Last you know, night my God, actually, you want to yeah. talk about good music and good musicians and everything yeah. else? But uh, he came. John Oates came by and did one of these a couple months, so maybe really? a year ago did now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I met them on uh, when we were on when I was on the road with Foreigner a couple of times, yeah. But uh, I just want to add that I do keep my ears open to to 
to current music. I have the radio on all all the time in my house, just listening, you know, l- listening for for new for new things. And there's a lot of good music out there, a lot of good new music. And Joe's played with everybody, his own band, The Criers, and Denny Lane a lot. And uh, sure. right. Cool. Well, thank you very much for bringing this music uh, to us today. We're going to hear two more still off of, off a of battle world. Can you tell us what's happening third today? Okay. All right. This is <coughs> this is a song called Cal- <coughs> California, and it's actually the what we what uh, Ted and I call our breakthrough song. It was the first song that we wrote from beginning to end together, and um, I have a very uh, I have a I'm very fond of this one. So. Mm-hmm. <coughs> California. California. One, two, three. Never saw a girl so fine with your sunshine eyes. Your mountains and your valleys and your oceans and your eight miles high. California. Without your love, there'll be no today. Fame has formed you. Your golden gate holds me in its sway. Movie stars, mansions, surf balls, and swimming pools. I saw you in your polka dot bikini, I became your fool. California Without your love there'd be no today Men may warn you No earthquake never gonna come and take you away California I know you're there this morning in your suntan set I won't bore you My beach umbrella wanna open up and paint no red To the stars in the skies above you Three thousand miles across the blacktop trail Thirsty in the desert, baby, bring my water pail Here I come Just like the old song used to say My last run I ain't never gonna go away California, I can't think what to do That's okay, cause California, she can't think too California The music in your canyons deep inside my heart I adore you My Hollywood dream's always gonna want a brand new start So keep on California and me Never saw a girl so fine with your sunshine eyes Your mountains and your valleys and your eight miles high Without your love there'll be no today California, I ain't never gonna go away Thank you. Man, that sounds great. I, mean, I heard it in soundcheck. I knew that there was going to be that acapella three-part uh, harmony break, yeah, but uh, even though I knew it was... Well, it sounded outstanding. That <laughs> sounded really thank good. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, can, we, uh, can we talk a bit more about the reissue, about this, about the 180-gram vinyl reissue? Um, sure. So what, what 
fancy extra goodies are on it? Why why this way as opposed to Spotify? Why why does everybody need to need to know about um, this this particular? There issue? there are no extra uh, tracks or anything like that. It's just as the, the original. Uh, um, CD came out the same sequ- same sequence and everything. In fact, when when we made the CD, we were we were actually thinking in terms of vinyl, side one and side two. So even even though the CD goes all the way through, it's there's still a it's still a uh, yeah. Nobody got it, so we had to put out vinyl. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um, you can't hear side two when it starts, um, but that's yeah, where it is. Yeah, yeah, and I mean it really. This, I I think that the the tracks really lend themselves to the to the vinyl uh, the vinyl version. It just just sort of pops and and your liner notes are in the and, oh yeah. Well, we looks. we did yeah we did um, change the liner notes a little bit because there was some. Some uh, some some notes. other changes, yeah. production notes, and things like that. Yeah, um, but uh, and uh, you know, I, and the artwork as well actually really works in in the twelve by twelve format. Yeah, I think that uh, I think I think all you know all round. I think um, it it really it really works. So I you know recommend it. Of course, I recommend it, but I do actually yeah. recommend uh, the uh, vinyl version if you can find it, which is shouldn't be too hard to find. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to diving in as well. I have not heard it in this format. I have heard it on uh, on uh, Spotify and and streaming, but uh, I'm not sure if that particular copy is being left here afterwards or not. If it is, I will dive into it immediately. If not, I'm going to order it. Um, so thank you for um, <clears throat> for bringing it here today. We're going to hear a fourth song <coughs> from Bad Old World. Can you tell us what you're going to play last today? A uh, uh, brand new car, this one's I'm called. just doing a quick tune-up because it's getting very warm in here. This one's brand new car, and it's, uh, Ian, it's done getting hotter in here. This is this is it. This is peak temperature right now. <laughs> I know, I know, but um, my wife Linnea says this song is really sick. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy it. So. Is she watching right now? Maybe. Uh yes, she is. Hello, yes. Linnea. Hello, Linnea. Hi. Hello, Sarah. Thank you for calling. This is the sickest song we ever wrote. We appreciate that. That's a good compliment. This is actually the second song on the album, yeah. so. Um, one of it's uh, it, um, in fact, it's the only song that we went back to remix it because um, I just felt that it, it could have been better. Everything else, with, with the mixes were, you know, the first, first, uh, f- first versions, but this is the only one we went back to because it's the second track on the album, and I think that's a really important uh, position on the on on an album. The first track, you know. For us, just you know, you get a flavor and get a taste of, of what's to come. But then you've got to really put an, a, an interesting song second, I believe, and um, so that's why we we made sure that this one uh, really worked, and hopefully it'll you know keep people's interest throughout the rest of rest of the record. And please sing along at home. The chorus is <laughs> "Life's so easy now." <clears throat> this one's going out to all you folks back home. Here we go. One. One, two, three. Bought a brand new car. Said it looks like you. Gonna keep it clean. New. Bought some fancy boots, came in pairs of two. Zippers up the side, I can run to you. Life's so easy now, easy now. Life's so easy now. Except to sleep all day Think I'll get a job Maybe one I like Sell my brand new car Buy a little bike Life's so easy now Easy now Life's so easy now, life's so easy now. 
it's all working out It's all working out That sounded Brand great. <laughs> Thank you very much for bringing the music here today. We've just heard four songs off of Bad Old World, which has been reissued. It now exists in 180 gram vinyl. All the details are up at honeywestmusic.com. Um, and as tour dates are announced, they'll all be up at that website. And uh, and congratulations, Ian and King Crimson, the band that you co-founded, has been now around for 50 years, celebrating the 50th <laughs> right. anniversary of In the Court of the Crimson, Crimson King. Right. Um, and uh, and Bad Old World, man, I that's all I have to say. Thank you okay. very much. Thank you, Brad. Thanks Thank you very much. much. Thank it's you been everybody. great. Bye-bye. I've had a lot of fun. Thank you. Right.